So about a month ago, I shot a video of the Dell Vostro 3360 and having some issues installing the Ubuntu version 12.10 um, on it. Basically, what would happen is that the um, the install installer would not see the hard drive, um, so it wasn't able to install that. I've done some investigation and. Um, I'm happy to say that I've resolved the issue. I am able to get it installed, um, and um, as searching for that, I also found that other people had some other problems with the Wi-Fi and other issues. I don't have any problems whatsoever now that I've resolved my initial problem, which is just getting it installed. Um, so what I had to do was basically wipe out or erase the entire hard drive. Um, that includes um, the, uh, the 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 fast boot boot the fast boot um, uh, space which is used by the um, the bootloader so I've gone ahead and I've actually wiped out the entire drive um, you'll see that there's actually a RAID configuration uh, which is surprising um, there was a RAID configuration to which helps the um, helps the uh, the boot process as well as um, ensures that your system is able to boot um, when installing Linux, you have to wipe out that entire section. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two things. Um, one is uh, the command that I've run to wipe out the drive, and then I'm going to do a, um, a reboot to show you what that RAID config looks like um, so you're not uh, surprised that that no longer works. So first thing I'm going to do is log into the system here. Um, <coughs> so here we go. I've already started using it um, somewhat. The command that I've used, you'll have to run in the terminal window. Now this is, um, I'm running this in the terminal window after I've done the installation. You're going to do this during the installation. The command that you're running is um, sudo, so S-U-D-O, space, M-K-F-S, dot, E-X-T-2, space, slash dev, slash S-D-A. And once you run that command, it's then going to ask you to confirm it, and then you're going to say yes, and basically what's going to happen is that it's going to wipe out the entire drive altogether. Once that's happened, um, then you can go ahead and start your install. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart this, just to show you what it looks like after you've installed. So this is uh, it's shutting down now, it's just showing the Ubuntu um, screen. So now it's going to do the reboot, there's your Dell, and this is the screen that I was speaking of. So you'll see here um, very quickly that it has um, FFS and then it has cache dev. Um, basically those things there is what allows the um, drive to boot up faster um, when running Windows or using any other um, OS. So once that passes, um, you're then going to uh, load up Ubuntu and now you're at your login screen. Wi-Fi does work, um, so I'm glad to see that works. I didn't have any problems with that. Um, the touchpad also works, so I'm glad to see that works as well. Um, aside from that, obviously the keyboard works because I am able to log in. Um, I did test out the Bluetooth, so Bluetooth does work as well. Um, so just to give you a better idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this um, laptop, and I am going to load up the Ubuntu um, installer which I have on a USB stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on the side here. There we go. Turn it on. I'm going to hold down F12. That's going to give me the booting options. Once that comes up, I'm going to choose uh, USB storage device. Once I press USB storage device, it's going to start loading up the installer for Ubuntu. Now it's going to go through basically the entire system and um, see what's on the system. So now it's telling me there is no network um, because remember this is the uh, this is the the 
non-configured version. So what we're going to do is, it gives us two options here. One is the try, the other is the install. What we're going to do is we're going to do the try. That's going to take us into a live version of Ubuntu. And we're going to be presented right into the uh, desktop of it. What we're then going to do is go to the dash homepage, or the dash. We're going to type in term, which is short form for terminal. And then you're going to uh, bring up the terminal window, and you're going to run the command that I had before, which is edu.